Why are we told to just be, just breathe? On this summer's day in June of 2021, we are very pleased to connect with you. Life is good and getting better, our dear light workers, our wonderful representatives on planet Earth today. And so, we are halfway through this year of change and discombobulation. Separation of human from human is still the order of the day. Fear is still rampant amongst those of our brethren that are so heavily programmed by the media sources they so avidly, so intently follow. The third dimensional and fifth dimensional worlds are moving further and further apart. Be of good cheer, dear ones. Hold the light. Be in the knowingness of who and what you are and what you are here on earth to do. Come together with light minds, light vibrations, and revel in each other's loving company. Communion and camaraderie with fellow travellers of light love vibration on this earthly plane is now the order of the day. For you, our dear volunteers, are finding each other. You see the light of the electromagnetic energy of love shining in each other's eyes. The steady gaze of the light worker is warm and wonderful to see. The look of love, the peace that emanates from each of you, attracts like to like. It is powerful when you meet. It is happiness. It is bliss, for at last you belong. At last you meet others who are equally kind, equally loving, equally compassionate. And wonder of wonders, you understand each other. For you feel, you each feel deeply the energy, the consciousness emanation of your brethren. You are so very empathetic. Your heart aches when you see mankind or any creature on this earth in psychological or physical pain. And you jump to help your brethren whenever and wherever you see them in need. Are you still asking of your still sleeping brethren, why did they say that? Why did they do that? Are you still looking for logic in illogical, inverted, back to front behaviour? Understand, this is a hopeless quest. There is no logic to this third dimensional world. There is no logic to third dimensional behaviour as it exists on planet Earth today. For all is inverted. All that in the heavenly realms is good and loving and kind has been made out to be bad. All that is cruel and unkind and lacks love and compassion has been made out to be good. Human beings, in their low third dimensional existence, are so eminently programmable. The major difference between third dimensional and fifth dimensional behaviour is that our third dimensional brethren do not think for themselves. They watch TV, they read the newspapers, all of which spout the words, disseminate the agenda of our dark controllers, and they think and behave as these words direct them to. Since in this earthly existence we are all separate, we only have the knowing of our own thought system, we cannot as yet clearly see into the minds of our still sleeping brethren. We do not know how and why they have come to think as they do. So we ascribe the same kind intentions to them that we have ourselves. And equally, they project their emotions, their negative fears onto us. We all expect others to think and behave as we ourselves do. Not so, for they are programmed into a whole different paradigm. You have broken out of that dense and dark, evil thought system that we all came to earth to experience. Souls in human bodies are not all the same. Our low vibrating brethren are still living in fear. Their emotions are hatred, jealousy, 
greed, anger, depression, apathy, and many, many more dark and dense states of mind. And they assume you have these same heavy, dense and dark emotions as the directors of your behaviour. You, our dear ones, have moved beyond that low level of consciousness. You are now above the level of courage. You have moved into the sphere of the electromagnetic energy of love. And that love is not an emotion. It is a knowing, a flowing, a glowing feeling of deep and intense warmth, intimacy and affection. A warmth and intimacy that holds in its flow joy, gratitude, kindness, compassion, wisdom, discernment, kindness and caring for your fellow travellers on this earthly plane. And you assume that all of your brethren come from the same loving kindness that you do? It is time for you to understand that you are different. It is indeed time for you to accept this now, for in the coming days that are fast approaching, you have much to do. There will be a time in our near future where your still sleeping brethren will be shocked to the core. They will be wandering the streets, lost, befuddled and shocked at the events transpiring around them. And that will be the time for you to help, for that is what you are here to do. You came here to help your brethren. You came to earth to contribute your high vibrating soul energy to the ascension of the human world. Think, dear ones, why is your presence here on planet Earth at this time so important? Why are you individually and together so essential for Earth's ascension out of the fear-filled third dimensional paradigm? To ascend, Earth and its inhabitants must reach a certain level, a certain frequency in the love hierarchy of vibration. The joint energy the joint emanation of love must reach above 60%. Without your help, those still enmeshed in fear could not jointly approach this percentage. Each of you light workers hold enough light to compensate for the lack of love and light that many, many third dimensional humans still lack. Each of you individually and all of you jointly are an absolutely necessary component part of this ascension process. For you, hold the light. You emanate love. You lift the frequency of the earth and all of its inhabitants. That is why you are told to just be, just breathe. That is why you are told you need do nothing. Just being here on planet earth, you empathetic beings that you are, are raising the vibration of the earth exponentially. You compensate for the lack of love, the lack of high vibrating energy in many hundreds of thousands of your still sleeping brethren. And so, at this time in our ascension, the dark and devious deeds of the controllers are inexorably coming to the light. And as your light shines on it, the old control system, the corrupt government, is being revealed and is collapsing. And soon, very soon, the tipping point will be reached. Your presence makes the ascension inevitable. Nothing can stop what is happening. It is the time, divinely decreed. Earth is moving out of the dense and dark control and manipulation of the evil ones. Those souls who are ready are changing their bodies from carbon to the more etheric crystalline base. Top-down control from evil central authority is ending. Loving communion, caring and camaraderie of like soul to like soul will be the order of the new earth, the new and wonderful days we are moving into. The personal touch is returning and the cold and callous brutal impersonal control is being removed. So be of good cheer, dear brethren. Be of good cheer. Just be. Just breathe. 
Create the new world and your new exciting life by following your joy. Yes, indeed. Choose joy, choose joy, choose joy. For only so will you be aligned with your soul and create your new life on the new and high vibrating planet Earth that is to come. And be at peace. Yes, you never did fit in. And that is true more so now as the third and fifth dimensions are pulling apart. Love yourselves, dear ones. Love yourself intensely and immensely, for in so doing, you are loving God, source energy, all that is. For how can you not love your soul that is an integral part of God, an integral part of your Creator? And when you love the God, the soul that is within you, you love all, for the love that is within emanates outwardly to all around you. Nothing wrong ever happened. You have lived and overcome your victim story. You planned your lives before you came here, and you have achieved your goal to become conscious in an unconscious world and to lift that world out of the pit of darkness into which it had fallen. Be of good cheer, dear brethren. Hold the light, for in so doing, you know that the best is yet to come. Yes, indeed, the best is yet to come as you spiral up into your wonderful new, fifth-dimensional, loving, kind and caring world. That was Ita, channeling her higher self. We are blessed beings, indeed.